All right, I want to talk about, did you guys see that another floating video around with Michelle Obama about modern marriage? You guys see that? Well, I wasn't going to cover it until I saw another guy who tends to push a lot of lame rhetorics. Until I saw him, I was like, you know what? I need to cover this too today. Anybody saw that today? Let's find it. His name is Coach Greg Adam. He's one of the Manosphere leaders. Coach, Coach Greg Adams. He says some things that make sense and some other things is like, what are you talking about right now? Right? So, I'm going to show this really quickly. Four more likes. I'll t hey, married women, super chat me. I'll tell you what your husband does when you leave the house. <laughs> All right. I want one woman to super chat me. I'll tell you what your husband does. Dudes are like, man, you a sellout. You a Sambo. Coach. I can do some shuffling, too. Look out, man. What you going to do? Look out, boys. It's coming through. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, let's get back to the show. We got, uh, what do we got on the first thing up here, right here? Ladies and gentlemen. All right, so he's covering the Michelle Obama video, the one that was floating around the last few days. And I want us to review both at the same time. We're going to use one stone to kill two birds. Okay, so Michelle Obama and Coach Greg Adam, or Adams, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Let's see here. Like, I want to know your husband. You're going to look at your husband a little bit differently. <laughs> right, marriage, guys. Modern marriage. Um, Michelle Obama kicking the reel about modern marriage. Guys, modern marriage is dead. Mm -hmm. Undertaker Bill. So modern marriage is dead, according to now Coach, Coach Greg Adams is a divorcee. It's a divorcee coach on YouTube. Okay. So he tends to his most of his rhetoric about marriage is from a half glasses empty type of deal. Okay. Um he's a divorcee with children, but he would never get married again, according to the, the, it's the video I've stumbled into. I don't really watch him uh, religiously, but I do stumble into his video because I watch some other manosphere material. But let me see here. Um I want to see if I can play the video of Michelle Obama fully first because I know they will chop it up. No, let me just play. I'll play her, him. Uh, I'll play his own first. And then we'll take it from there. Let's see. Even Michelle Obama will tell you that. Now, she's one of the bros, so we will give her her props for revealing it. <laughs> it says right here, Michelle Obama says young people aren't ready for the realness it takes to stay married. Quote, this... Is that true? Is that a true statement or not? Are young people ready? Are young people ready to fair use, fair use, fair use? Are young people ready to for what it takes to to sustain marriage? I agree with that last statement you just made. Many young people, uh, modern people in particular, yeah, that includes 45, 55 year old men that are single, divorced. They're not ready. Okay, they're often not ready. Okay. So I agree with that so far. This day and age, marriage is all about the dress, the proposal, and the honeymoon. Glamorize marriage. And in this day and age, marriage is more about the dress and the dresses. Yes. And the proposal and the honeymoon and all the stuff around it. And young people aren't ready for the real of marriage. So mm. I think, once again, it's inc incumbent upon us people who have had successful marriages to be really honest about okay so so coach greg adams skipped completely skipped the this part he's going to act he's going to try to skip this part okay he's going to try to skip this part of what michelle is saying here she's saying something very important here and i think it's important not to skip it let's let me go back a little bit incumbent upon us People who have had successful marriage. People who have had successful marriages. Listen, you can learn anything from even a donkey, a madman on the side of the street. It's true. But when you're trying to add structure to this, you want to make it holistic. You want people that have come out on the other side 
that can showcase what success looks like uh you want them to be a part of the teaching right you want them to be a, at least a part of it and what we find these days is that many of them are just busy enjoying their life and they're not ready for, they also they are not ready for these streets they don't want to be a part of all the messy talk on the internet okay not especially if a married man comes on the internet it's going to be called a simp if a married woman comes on the internet she's going to be called a pick me <laughs> am i lying <laughs> modern people i'm not i'm not i'm not lying now <laughs> manosphere somebody said manosphere is a version it's just another version of this almost the same thing as feminism i think it's worse in my opinion the worst thing <laughs> the worst the worst thing you can have like women and men are not the same you have the men of the society completely lost that's just not good okay that's just not good so we can't say it's the same thing the manners way is actually the worst for us for all of us okay because we literally have our leaders in the what the what the <laughs> yeah we have work to do so she's saying we need people that have had success i think once again it's inc incumbent upon us people who have had successful marriages to be really honest about the fact that making a commitment to be with someone means you compromise and compromise ain't always fun yeah and don't add kids into the mix compromise ain't always fun she didn't say it's never fun right she said it is not always fun well welcome to real life to the real world it's not always fun right because they really mess up your life well, well, let's talk about that. <laughs> who hurt michelle obama man who hurt you who hurt this man i mean who hurt this woman okay so we have coach greg adams is speaking sign language here shame insult guilt and need to be right condescension sarcasm right all of that <laughs> right uh these are the same thing that they will shame um men women for you know who hurt basically that's what they say to misogynistic men who hurt you well if you ever get that question you deserve that question who hurt you you deserve that question it's probably because you're moving mad and they can detect that something happened and you're not telling the full story so they will ask you who hurt you it is what it is okay AJ Bure, drink some water on top of that they can see it she definitely sounds bitter and hurt this is exactly what i've been saying he's agreeing with michelle obama but he's being sarcastic about it he's trying to speak to women right now but indirectly with some condescension i've been telling y'all that and no not me coach not my girl i've been remember the message that michelle obama is saying is actually for all modern people in general the modern young people men and women she wasn't talking to just women watch coach greg adam make it all about women telling y'all and telling y'all telling y'all and y'all been telling me i've been hurt this is exactly what i'm saying y'all not ready i'm telling you what marriage is i'm giving you the real it's not some fantasy bullshit. you marriage is not some fantasy bull bs it's just that people want to be married why because they are mad they don't know that marriage is not a bed of roses they just want to be married right i think there's gonna be a violin and a harp and an acoustic guitar through your whole marriage even with your kids you think you're gonna raise your kids and there's gonna be an acoustic guitar playing in the background lightly and your kids are gonna be sitting there cooperating no like tv like hollywood right like nollywood like ransom noah and uh ramsey noah and uh what's her name geneva playing love they play <laughs> they're gonna be sitting there pissing you off throwing food shitting on themselves eating crayons crying <laughs> eating crayons <laughs> okay you guys romanticize everything and then when the reality hits your ass and you're dealing with real life consequences then you guys give up that's the point of it you give up but the reality is that marriage is supposed to be hard as fuck <sighs> pause marriage is supposed to be hard right what a great way to encourage people to go my well we kind of know that coach greg adam does not encourage people to go into marriage you kind of know that so 
So I, I, I'm not... It is what it is. But again, that's not what Michelle was saying. Michelle was saying people that are successfully married should kind of, kind of like step to the plate and start teaching people the real of it. The real of it is also not all bad and not all hard. <laughs> hard. Marriage is supposed to be hard, right? All right. So again, when uh, people... The majority of people following him are people that can relate with him. Divorcees, I just felt like they were taken advantage of. It felt like they, you know, it wasn't fair, right? And so, naturally, they just, they tend to come from a very pessimistic standpoint when it comes to marriage altogether. I just want you to be aware of what's out there and what's more popular on, on social media, okay? He's not wrong, particularly. He's... He's speaking from his experience. That's why they're asking him, who hurt you? Right? Speaking from his experience. And many people have the experience that he's had. But it's not accurate <laughs> to just imagine it's supposed to be hard. No. It's oh, not. It's plain of it. You give up. But the reality is that marriage is supposed to be hard as fuck. It's super duper hard. False. It ain't easy. He, he said super duper hard. It's not all uh, shits and giggles. It's not all about flowers and candy, and it's not flowers all about candies. what the person does for the other person. It's what you do for them, meaning that what you're willing to do for them, that should be your focus, not what you're getting from him. True not that facts. You're keeping score. I do this, and he do He's right. Remember, I keep talking about that. He's right about this keeping score things. That said, you got to be careful. Just like Michelle Obama is right that many people are not ready for the real. Yet, yeah, they want the wedding and all of that kind of stuff, right? So does that I do the chores, I do 60% of the chores, he helps, he don't. That's not what marriage is. It's not. <laughs> and if you think that is, you're keeping scoring your marriage, go get divorced now. Right Just now. End it. He's right about that. I said that last week. You're better off being single. If you're going to go compete, actively competing, keeping scores with your partner, especially if you're trying to protect yourself so hard before you get into it. Right? So he's right about that part, right? Trying to argue about who does what. This is despicable and disgusting. And I've been telling you, this is how modern people think of marriage. This is why the divorces are at where they are at. I, so I have even to agree Big Mike, I mean, even Big Michelle, why do I keep saying that? Because y'all suggest His shimmy Michelle. <laughs> well, <laughs> Let me just leave that alone. Put that in my comment section. I didn't say it, Michelle. Yes, I did. But I didn't say it. Because <laughs> people <laughs> glamorize marriage. And in this day and age, marriage is more about the dress and the dresses. Yes. And the proposal and the honeymoon and all the stuff around it. And young people aren't ready for the real of marriage. So I think, once again, it's inc incumbent upon us, people who have had successful marriages, to be really honest about the fact that making a commitment to be with someone means you compromise and compromise ain't always fun yeah and don't add kids into the mix because they really mess up your life well, we, well let's talk about this <laughs> people glam so yeah man i think people who glamorize marriage she said don't add kids into the mix they really mess up your life so you know they all sound extreme and stuff you know um we just need to have some context to they're not wrong they're not wrong um but I think what I really like mostly about what she said is that people that have done it successfully, um, she starts stepping up and doing something about it. And we don't have enough people, honestly. Uh, we don't. We need more people because, uh, naturally speaking, people that have had negative experience will go viral, especially if they're coming from a place of being pessimistic. They'll go viral faster more because, uh, obviously, uh, when you can relate from a place of pain and fear, it's just more impressionable. It's just what it is. And if somebody comes to you and says, oh, it's all sweet and onion, and they're coming up like, they're trying to balance the conversation, it's boring. It's boring. So you're gonna need a lot more people to combat the level. And the truth is that social media is part of the things to be blamed for the high rates of divorce and the struggle that people are having in dating. That's the truth. It's creating fear because the most viral news are exactly what they are. All right. 
So let me see. Uh, Jojo says, I agree, true. This man is a straight idiot. For the most part, he is an idiot. <laughs> but uh, like I always say, uh, the reason why they are impressionable is because there's, there's a lot of truth and facts in what they're saying. There's the interpretations that tend to be off. And that's why we're hiding context here. Or there's, they, they lack context, proper context for at least people that are trying to do things the right way. Uh, the most you're going to get out of uh, Coach Greg Adams is to avoid marriage. If you're a man following him, the most you're going to get out of it is to avoid marriage so you can live a free agent lifestyle. That's his, that's part of his brand, free agent lifestyle. And there's a good chance you can't really be him. You're a lover boy. You want a wife that will fall in love with you, right? He might call you a simp, right? Because you want that. So what you want is what you want. And there are ways to do it properly and achieve what you're looking for, right? So we shall see. I agree again. They are so real. Uh, of course, he will start attacking her. Yeah, he couldn't help. He had to attack her. What did Michelle Obama say that is wrong here? She's been very realistic. She's definitely on point. She was. He was agreeing with. He was agreeing with her. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was agreeing with her. But uh, from a very condescending, sarcasm, extreme, you know. Uh, Basically, his mission is to discourage you from marriage. Okay. Um, for me, yeah, I don't like to come up as I'm selling marriage too, because I, I believe that you need to see the value in it before you go into it. I don't, I don't like the idea of selling it. I'd rather sell you self-love, right? Then, if you have that and you're able to figure that out, you're probably a good candidate for marriage. You probably won't last in the marketplace too right so yeah so don't keep scores if you're gonna keep scores major mainly i agree with mainly what he said i agree with mainly with what he said you know uh on that video so um let's keep talking let's keep talking i'll be back here again tomorrow night for another session i'm eight minutes over time okay we cover what like three I mean, how many topics did you cover today? We'll cover quite a few of them, you know. And maybe in a few days, we'll be back to some afternoon stuff. I know you guys love the afternoons. But let me see how many people are here. Not bad. Not bad. It's, we don't do more than this in the afternoon either, you know. But shout out to you. Do me a favor, okay? As you're here right now, hit the like button. Make sure you hit the like button. I think, shout out to all 21 people that have hit the like button. But help me share, share, share. Share on your posts. Share on your posts. All right. And um, again, look out for the courses, okay? Um, the courses, I'm not sure. Okay, so what I'll do is, uh, okay. Some part of it will be, I would say right now, go ahead and join the membership already, okay? Membership is like, what, $1, $2? I forgot something stupid cheap like that one dollar two dollar just go ahead and join just click on the join under the videos and join the membership i think some parts of the course will be free and then the other parts will be for members only just to you know to give uh to incentivize membership here shout out to d love she opened up our membership she was the first member of the channel and shout out to all the members uh, that have been that have joined since then and thanks for the support always but i want to make sure that we're bringing some good material for you i want to make sure that we're growing as individuals if there's only one of you that keep coming back here i want you to be able to say you know what my, my perspective has been you know it's, it's, i can see a little bit better you know on what's going on i think there's a lot of fear in the marketplace people are afraid people don't want to get hurt i and i completely get it you know um the dating scene is quite different from 16 years ago when i left the market <laughs> but i've been listening to you guys i know what your problems are majority of it is fear and i too know you know too much okay and you can't all know what you don't know the only thing we can do is convert what you've known into wisdom we can convert it into 
practice experience you know and we can convert it to real life results right we can help you interpret interpret what you know a little bit better so that's what we're here um i think we might be due for another lola and lola session okay so very soon we'll be coming together again to just chat it up with wife you know for that period of time and let me know if there's any topics or anything like that always let me know you can leave comments on any of the uh, any of the posts you know leave comments stuff like that if you see anything that looks like generalized on other platforms it's okay that it starts the conversation let's finish it here let's let's continue the conversation here we never really finished the conversation right let's continue here the ultimate of today's lesson is this right Context matters. Context matters. When somebody says marriage is hard, ask them, what do you mean? So why should I go into marriage if it's that hard? Right? If it's just this bad hard. When somebody say 39 years of foolishness is what's going to take like, what do you mean? So if it's 39 years of foolishness, why would I? that doesn't make sense like what exactly are you selling me right now <laughs> right so jojo says thanks man your contents are not restricted to only nigeria that's why i love your contents keep it up thank you i appreciate you i appreciate you yes we cover everything we're modern people we're cut we're global we global man <laughs> right we're global now you know so it really doesn't matter you know we we'll talk about relationship is the same thing everywhere don't let them deceive you even in single and dating and into marriage, it's slightly different. One you can exit faster, the other one you can't. It's the same thing, same skill set, okay? And a major part of it is conflict and crisis handling. It's how you respond to when things go left. It's not everything sweet and dandy all the time, obviously. But if you can respond to those few negative moments, because majority of it is going to be good times. But those few negative moments tend to take over everything and start to make you feel like this is just all bad because they're negative and your mind tends to take on negative faster than positive, right? But there's more to the conversation, Sha, you know. Anyway, so since we've uh, done some justice today, hopefully you've been enlightened and educated. I'll see you on the next one.